Resident Evil, the final chapter. Now, of course, this is going to be my spoiler-free review for the film, but I did do a spoiler discussion. Um, I had to do it before this, and I actually did it with my girlfriend, so I highly recommend you guys check that out because we go through a ton of the film. Like, we just, all the issues of this film. It's, I'm not even going to lie to you guys, it's almost an hour-long video because there's just so much random bad stuff for us to reference within the film and then to just talk about how it's this movie and it's a bad ending to an already meh sort of franchise but even the older films are better than this one and we get into all that stuff so if you want like a full in-depth discussion discussion the two of us um have already done that earlier so there'll be a link in the description for that and it's just all our random issues about this movie so to get into it it's just, it's not great, and that sucks. So, I have Resident Evil 7, and I've been playing the crap out of this. Um, I beat it last Thursday, and, you know, it's crazy, because we've never had this, it's like the first time this has ever happened in all of gaming, where a game has come out, and in that same week, we've had a movie based on that gaming franchise come out as well. So we had Resident Evil 7 come out last Tuesday, and um, the movie came out on Friday. And I was like, that's cool. I like that. Of course, I was I was far more excited uh, for the game, excuse me, than I was for the film. And depending on where you go, you know, price movie prices might be different. But let's just say it's 10 bucks to go to the movies. This is six times the price, and it's a million times the value because the movie is just not great. It's not even really good. It's not good. And I'm going to try to keep this short because the spoiler thing we did, if you guys want to check it out, was incredibly long so we get into all the details there but simply put the action sucks because it's so like all the jump cuts are really really bad you can't really see most of the action except for maybe two separate fight scenes the characters are either completely wiped away from the last film or they are like lessened entirely there's honestly if you haven't seen the film yet there is literally a chunk that it's almost like this should be in a comic book because it's like it, when you get a video game, it's like, all right, here's the first game and here's the second game. And they do this a lot with um, like actual comic book TV shows and stuff. It's like, all right, here's the new season of this show. Here's a prequel comic book leading into this season or for anyone who might play games, Injustice 2 is coming out. And after the first Injustice game, they made a comic book series that takes place in between these two games. And I feel like there should have been some sort of comic book in between these two movies because they have the ending of the last film and it's leading up to this thing. And then this film starts and there's this thing that happened. And it's like, um, that's important because there were about four people that you don't have anymore. We kind of need some context as to where the F this is. How long has it been? Because the way, honestly, the way Alice first comes into the movie, I'm like, okay, she just came from some sort of event, like something happens, and you know this because of, it's not like she just walks out of a door, it's like the way she comes out of this area is very specific, and it's like she was just dealing with something, and we don't know what it is, and it's like how much time could have possibly passed between that last film and just now. She's in the same location, but there's clearly an event that took place and it's like, there's no flashback sort of event or anything like that. It just happened and that's it. And it's a thing that they, they talk about it, but there's never any specifics. It's just, this happened and that's it. And it's like, well, we should have seen that because there are other very important characters that are just wiped away. So that sucks. They just wipe away the ending. They wipe away the whole franchise, honestly. Like, this is almost like the X-Men origins, or like X-Men first class of the Resident Evil movies where they're like, yeah, that's the origin, but then there's this movie, except this doesn't deal with time travel. This doesn't go back in time and they change, you know, they like retcon the storyline. It just changes. It's like, no, this was the storyline that we said, and this is the new storyline that we're saying. And that's it. It's not like time travel. There's no, somebody went back in time to change something. This is what it was, and we decided to change it for the last movie. And I don't understand that at all. Of course, I didn't remember, because um, you know, I've seen the movies, I've seen them like once, uh, once a piece. I've seen the first movie a couple of times, 
and the third movie I think I've seen two or three times. Like those are the only two I've really seen more than once. Every other movie I've seen one time <clears throat> and the second one I've seen a couple of times but I've only seen it all the way through once and I was on a horrible bootleg copy and I hated that movie so I never really cared to watch it. So they already changed, like they changed something that they created because it's not like they're following the game in any way shape or even with this new version um, they like reference the game but it still doesn't have anything really to do with the game it's just they have a character now that they reference and it's like that's cool I appreciate that just as a reference to the actual franchise and everything else it's just bad it's like we, we start from there then we get your first action sequence and it's just not great at all it, it, it's simply put it's just it sucks it just sucks really bad like that the the there's like a million jump cuts per fight. They all suck. The story is, oddly enough, it's <clears throat> excuse me, too fast paced. Like the Resident Evil movies aren't really huge on story. Even the games aren't really huge on story when you think about it. It's like the story is within this one little section. You know, whether it's in a mansion or maybe in sections of a city for like three and stuff. And that's pretty much it. It's like, here's this. I think 6 was fairly expansive because there were like four different storylines going on. So it's like, yeah, there's a lot of story in that. But the other games, it's like, alright, there's some people in a mansion or there's some people in the town. You do a bunch of crazy puzzles and you fight a couple enemies and then you get to the end. That can't... That's how the movie is, but in a horrible, horrible way. Speaking of horror, uh, this isn't scary. There are no... I'm sorry, there are only jump scares. I was about to say there are no jump scares. There are no actual scares, but there are all jump scares. There was like one part where my girlfriend was actually freaking out and I can't even, I don't want to spoil it anyway, but I can't even remember what it was. But there was something where it seemed like there was tension and it kept going and she like let go of my hand a little bit and I was like, she knows, she realizes now that it's not even a creepy scene. Like it started off that way for her because it was kind of tense. And then it, it was, it just kept going, and she was like, oh, okay, I know that's gonna happen now. And I was like, that was it. That was the only part of the whole movie where she freaks out. And she freaks out over everything. Like, it could be a bug, and it'll, like, flip her out. So, that's how you know you're not doing the horror well. Like, my girlfriend freaked out, and like, one, then maybe there were two scenes, and that was it. And then there's stuff about science that doesn't work, like how fire moves, they didn't get that right. Um, buildings and how they work with explosions, that didn't make any sense. Uh, there's just things that come out of nowhere, zip lines that are just like, wh where did that come from? They don't even make like the smallest reference to certain things and then it just happens. Uh, characters are nothing whatsoever. You have Alice, you have Claire, you have Wesker, and you have the dude Isaacs, who I think the last time he was in a movie, I think was the third movie? I'm pretty sure he died in the third movie, or, uh, yeah, I think it was the third movie. So that's it. Those are your characters. Everyone else that shows up, they're irrelevant. They have names, but only one is really known because they say it. It's not even the person's actual name. It's like the guy's nickname. Everybody else is like, I don't remember your name. I don't, I don't know who you are. I do not remember you. Some of the scenes are so dark. Um, you can't tell who just died. It like that actually happened. I was like, that can't be that person. I thought it, I kind of had the idea. <coughs> Sorry. I thought I had the idea that it was that person, I was like, I really can't be 100% sure it's during a dark scene, it's just all over the place, and I just couldn't freaking tell what the heck was happening. And then I was like, oh, it was that person. So, just the way they do certain things is very interesting, and not in a good way. It's like, there's some stuff where, it's like, okay, you think they're going a certain way, that's maybe the one sweet spot in this film, is that there are certain cliches that they don't follow. But the problem with that is, when you don't follow cliche, you have a way to make that really good. But the way they don't follow the cliches, it's so freaking fast. It's like, oh, they didn't follow it, and it's done. And I was like, well, okay, I thought this was going to happen. But when you only give me, like, half a second, movie-wise, to think this way and be wrong, it doesn't matter anymore. Because it's like, oh, that I was wrong about that. But it happened so fast, I only had, like, three minutes to even think, you know, to have that actual theory where it was relevant. Like, I could have thought that for five minutes, but it only mattered for, like, the last two because they finally moved on to the next segment. And then, you know, something just switches up or, like, a character dies or something. I'm like, oh, I was totally wrong about that. But 
it only mattered that I was wrong for like the last two minutes. And I was like, oh, where's this headed? And then it doesn't head anywhere. I was like, oh, okay, well, that's done. Characters just don't matter. I mean, they never mattered in the Resident Evil games, but they at least stick around and that's the weird thing about this movie i couldn't tell how long i was there so maybe that's a good thing it was kind of fast paced it was like i said too fast paced because they would just go through and everybody would just die super super fast it would be like okay this person died all right two minutes later this person died there's like one death that's actually like a bit tense and that may have been the part that freaked my girlfriend out and that was actually a good sequence when a character dies and it's just tense in general because like how the heck is this going to play out and it just keeps going and it, it was actually a fairly you know decent scene and then after that it's just like everybody just dies super super fast you know the death before that all the deaths before that were super fast that was the one death that was kind of drawn out it was like okay you get to have that tension and kind of embrace it a little bit and wonder, are all these characters going to survive? Is it going to be one person that dies? Is it going to be more than one person just because of the situation it could be? And that was about it. Other than that, it's just like super fast death, super fast death. Done. And that's it. Just people just keep dying left and right. Then it gets down to the four main characters and it just doesn't matter. It's like, all right, well, flew through this. Um, we have our references to Resident Evil 5 and stuff. Here are the creatures here. Here's a creature there. Uh, reference to Resident Evil 6 with a creature in there. Um, and I, I guess, sorry if that's a slight spoiler. I mean, the monsters, it, I mean, that's fairly obvious. They always have the monsters as the reference. So, yeah, I won't say which monsters are in there, but you know which monsters are which if you really play the game. So, that's always in there. I guess that's not a spoiler anyway, but they always have the creatures, you know, in the, mo in the movies or like the biggest ones. So, that happens. You go through, the movie ends, and it's just like, that sucks. You know, it's, I felt like when I was watching it, this is probably only 10 minutes in or so, I was just like, am I being too harsh on this? Because I already didn't like it. It was after like the first fight sequence and it was super jump and it was just like punch, cut to, cut to the second punch and cut to grabbing and cut to the third punch and then it's over and you cut down what's already only going to be like a 10 second clip to like a 3 second clip. It's just like, what the heck? That's dumb. That's so, I couldn't, you can't see the action that's happening. It's moving around way too fast with the jump cuts. Um, there's shaky cam as well in the action scene. That didn't really bother me because I was like, it's shaky, but at least I can see what's happening. If it's shaky, I can, you know, create an image. I can tell this is where this person is and this is where this other person is. When it's a jump cut, honestly, the way it's cut, it's just crazy. It's not like it cuts and it's here and then it cuts, you know, and it moves over here. It's like it'll cut from here to like right up to the person's face and then it'll cut to like behind them or something like that. And then it cuts to, you know, the person getting punched and then it cuts to the person grabbing a different weapon. Like it literally cuts after a punch to someone grabbing a different weapon. It'll be like, boom, they grab the weapon and then it cuts back to them already hitting them with that weapon. There's no in-between movement. It's just hit, grab, second hit. And that, just it's just bad. It's just really bad. And like, it's already people fighting zombies. It's not like there's that much to hide. We know it's not gonna be great combat. I'm, I find myself repeating stuff that I end up saying in the spoiler stuff, so. Combat's really bad. The story isn't good. They wipe away characters, like I said, from the last film. I don't know anyone personally that's a huge fan of the movies. I watch them because Resident Evil is my favorite video game franchise. I actually do like the first one. I still really love that first film. It's not a perfect movie, but I like that. And then after that, I just don't. Like, I hated the second one. The third one I actually enjoyed because... I was like, at least they're taking their own route. Like, it was clear at that point when they did Desert and Superpowers, I was like, all right. that I think that's when they, they really were like, let's just do our own thing and go crazy with action. And it worked in that third movie. I thought it did a great job. It sucked as a Resident Evil movie because it was just like, what, the, like, Resident Evil, for as long as Resident Evil has gone on, the Team Harvest still hasn't managed to wipe out the entire planet. But I was like, there's something here that I enjoy. The action is good. You can see the action flipping and flying. And she's got like, um, I forgot what the weapon, they're like curved blades from Australia. I forgot what they're called. But she had like, you know, movie specific weapons. She was in like a Western outfit because they were, you know, in the desert and everything. She was like fighting crazy humans and stuff in that third movie who just went nuts and they were like eating people. I was like, there's stuff here that's great. 
the fourth movie I didn't like that much because it was just like in one location and it just felt kind of stiff. And the fifth movie was interesting. They had a ton of characters. They had you know, all the people they wiped out, but they had Barry. They had um, Jill back. Leon, Ada. Leon and Ada were introduced in that film. Um, Barry was in. I think I said Barry, but it uh, just all messed up. They brought back all the people from the first movie because they did all the clone stuff. And that's why I really appreciate it. That was like, they made a lot of cool references to the first movie by bringing back those old actors. They made a lot of great references to the games by having the game characters actually in there. I think that was the one with the most video game characters. Um, maybe the second one, because the second one had Nemesis as well as all three of the mercenaries and Jill. So technically it had five uh, video game characters in it. But they did something there. And then with this one, it was just like, let's just, it's the last movie. Let's only have Claire in it. I mean, maybe they just couldn't get all, any of the other actors they weren't interested or they're doing other stuff. I don't know. But they didn't bother writing it in the dialogue why these characters aren't here anymore. Any explanation. Just it, last movie, probably skip like, I don't know, five hours worth of content. Boom, this movie. And as a, when you, you lose three characters, something in that five hours can be is really important. But... The movie just fails and it's a really sad way for this franchise to go out because it's never been perfect. I don't think anyone's ever been like, holy crap, it's Resident Evil. I felt that way when the second movie was coming out because I actually liked the first one. But other than that, I was just like, eh, whatever. And then this just, it seemed like it could be doing something. Like, oddly enough, in the trailer, there seemed like a lot of practical stuff and I, I wish I... Um, I wish I watched my uh, reaction to that trailer before doing this review, but I feel like I said something like that where it was like, man, the action seems practical. It's not a bunch of CG, you know, zombies or CG monsters she's fighting. It's like a lot of practical combat. And they do technically have a ton of practical combat. It's just really bad practical combat. And it's crazy because they've had great practical combat. Like, I think of the third movie is actually having the best combat because... Um, there's just a lot of Alice fighting like a buttload of zombies. Like I think of the one desert sequence where it was basically just a trap and a container opens up and a bunch of zombies pour out and she's flipping and throwing blades and chopping heads off and it's just like a dozen zombies and she's just fighting a bunch. And they've had great choreography. I don't know how it could get worse. Like that just doesn't make any sense. And the last movie even had a really good choreography, at least during the end fight sequence that I can remember. But that's it. I mean, it, it just, it kind of fails on all cylinders. And that, that is honestly a bit sad. I mean, maybe it's because it's tied to Resident Evil and that's why it, it makes me so upset because it's my favorite franchise. But even as the film franchise on its own, I didn't hate it. I never hated it outside of two. I just, I, I couldn't stand that they put my caps in it. It was way too funny. But outside of that, I was just like, I can... I could watch these every once in a while and still enjoy them. And this one, I just don't feel like I could do that. I felt like this, I feel like it's the worst one. And that's insane that the last movie in this franchise, everyone's going to just be like, yeah, it's the worst one. It is the, the worst one is the very last one, the one they end out on. And it could have been good. I mean, I don't know. Maybe if there were like, no, it wasn't all jump cutty, there still would have been a lot of issues, oddly enough. I think the story was the worst in this one. I think... Everything was the worst in this one, and that really sucks. I think um, just the way it was done, the pacing was off. Like, they would just have shots. It just, like I said, it seemed to move so insanely quickly. In the beginning, that's where I felt it was off just from the start. Because I'm like, I remember a little bit of this last movie, and it's just like, poof. Alice is alone. How did that just happen? She's in the same location, and that's what made it crazy. I'm like, I know she's in the exact same location, but somehow she's completely alone, and you just have to wait until that answer kind of gets revealed, barely. And it's just bad. Like, it, like honestly, like, this has DLC coming out. That's what this movie needs. Like, we need, like, some flashback DLC stuff where they're like, okay, this is exactly what happened. It still wouldn't help much. But it'd be like, this is what happened. You won't be left with questions. Um, I would love to know why they rewrote the history that they made in the second freaking movie. Like, there's no reason for that. And it was just insane. I mean, maybe it was because there was a different 
girl as an actress because they had of course had to get a different young girl to play the red queen who's the computer system so maybe that was their excuse for it i have no idea because you know it's not th that girl has grown up because the second movie came out in like 2004 or something so of course she's you know older but i thought that's who they used in the third movie and it probably was because that wasn't too far after but i don't know like it, it's it's really sad that this has come out to be what it was didn't mean to make this as long as it was considering how long the spoiler discussion is but i guess it just it's hard to avoid talking at length about this and it just sucks i mean we already don't have great video game movies just in general we got some okay ones like the first movie the third movie i think is okay um assassin's creed has meh reviews same with warcraft that's like a godsend when it comes to video game movies like a video game movie being like meh that's like saying it's like god level like zeus dropped a pen into somebody's hand and they wrote a movie and it came out meh but if it's a meh video game movie that's great that like that's what that says and this is just trash and that's so freaking sad because they've had good movies or at least men movies <laughs> in this franchise and this just fails but it's just so so bad and it really upsets me and i do think it's because it's tied to my favorite video game franchise but in general i don't like seeing movies fail that much and i had to think about this and the last time i just really hated a movie like this was batman v superman and i all I can't even. I think I'd only want. I'd only choose this over the Batman v Superman because it's shorter. That is literally the only reason I choose other Batman movies over Batman v Superman. Because it's just they're just shorter. That was like a two and a half hour movie. I feel like this one was maybe an hour and forty five minutes or something. I don't know if it even hit two hours. I can't tell. It was. It was either just distracting me with all the action, or it really was just a short movie. I don't know. But it's not good. I don't recommend it unless you just like have to see it. I still haven't seen Assassin's Creed and that's what I've been waiting to see. I just haven't had, I seriously haven't had the chance and we were going into this today and I was just like, Oh, should I go? I still got a couple days where it's you know, Assassin's Creed is at like the Dolly Theater. But we saw this and it made sense to, you know, get the review out earlier, but it's sad. It's just not good. This is not good at all. So that's what I think about it. We'll love to know what you guys think about it. Um, without spoilers, even though it kind of doesn't matter if it's, but without spoilers, we'd love to know what you think. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. Um, I asked this in the spoiler video, but that's super long. What is your least favorite video game movie? And what is your favorite? My favorite is probably the first Resident Evil movie, for me and honest. I know a lot of people love the first Mortal Kombat. Meh for me, but we'll love to know yours. What you think about this? And everything so please put your comments down in the comment section below and thanks for watching